Let's paint a primitive snowman. Happiness is making friends. I'm going to use this Dollar Tree ornament sign, and we're going to use the back side of it. This was a discounted broken one, so I've already removed the top ornament piece with my putty knife. I'm going to put a base coat of midnight blue on the back side of this board. This is the midnight I'm using from Folk Art, and I'm just using what I call a base coating brush. So we've got our base coat, and as you can see, it's still kind of damp in this area. And the reason why is we want to take one drop of white, our dirty midnight brush, and we are blending that out. Yes, it's making a light blue, but no matter what you do, even if you use a light blue, you want to stay in the same color tone. And a lot of times, the easiest way to stay in the color tone is just simply add white to the color you're already using. And what we want to do is we want to create some light in this background. It doesn't have to be a lot, but the reason why is our snowman is going to be white. And this is a snowy night. And so we've got our base, and we're just taking whatever's left on that brush and putting a little bit of light in there. Just a little bit, because in order for us to get a really good snowman built here, who is also building his friend, we need to put light in that background. And as you can see, I just used my brush, and if you feel like you need to pick up more, you can. And that is the great thing about using acrylics. And as you can see, it's kind of getting that snowy night to it. It'll have cascades and it's look like the wind is blowing almost, blowing the snow. So now we're going to build our snowman. Pre-dampen your brush to precondition it. So you just want to dampen the bristles. Make sure that you press out the excess. We're going to take our white and load our brush. Now because he is a snowman, building a snowman, and then there's a tree here. I'm figuring he needs to be here, the snowman he's building here, and then the tree. Because this is a prim snowman, he's almost kind of square. Very simply just make him right here. This is a number 12 flat brush. And once you get him created, and smooth it out pretty good. Now for his head, it's just a, a round. You've got to paint his friend that he is building. And it's just slightly shorter than him. Um, let's kind of give ourselves a little guide here. Now, he is putting the head onto his friend that he is creating. So, we need to make it like a small ball that's just barely balancing. He's just barely getting it up there. Just push and pull, guys. Push and pull. So, making sure that our snowmen dry real good, we're going to work on our tree. And I am using classic green. This is the multi-surface by Plaid, and I am using a number six round. Once again, dampen your brush, press out the excess very gently. And this one, this is a primitive little tree that's outside. So I'm probably not going to need much more than what's in this lid. Area is right here behind our snowman, so... Just make a single stroke. Is when you're loading the round, make sure you roll it. Unless you're just using the very tip of it. That way, when you're pulling, you're going to keep paint in it. Now, we are going to be using the tip on this. So, starting up here close, little commas. Now, remember, tree branches are not directly across from each other. So, however you need to do that and then come way down pretty good distance on this one and you can go inward or outward on these particular ones because of the way they're shaped make sure they crisscross 
on these next branches coming down. So since we started up there, we do the same here. These need to get longer because they are further down the tree. So let's go ahead and put a nose on our little primitive snowman. And this nose is really long because he's raising his nose up, so to speak. So we're going to go way long for the nose. So I'm going to use my paint marker to create his scarf. And we kind of want to make it kind of uh, thick. And we want it to kind of, you know, flow outward. Make sure your marker's good and flooded. Bring his scarf on out here. And for this part of the scarf, we want it to kind of like come down the back of him. So let's try to bring the tail down and make it wide. That will give you the ability to make this one look broader. While that scarf is drying, let's create a star. And because the star's legs come out like a jack, like you're doing a jumping jack, and remember it's a primitive star, so it does not have to be perfect. And then you want to come in towards it. Add some light into our scarf. I think I'm going to use my lagoon color by Waverly in order to put the blocks in between. I think it would just be very, very perfect and suitable for a primitive snowman scarf. Okay. We're going to use our black and we're just going to give our snowman some eyes. Coals on his chest and he also needs an arm that's putting his friend together. this lighter green on my tree just to give it a little bit of light so that it shows up more reflective see I'm doing one under and then the next one I'm doing over I have a brown let's see if that's gonna help our snowman stand out a bit okay so we want to write up here at the top happiness is making friends and we need to kind of watch our paint down here that we don't touch it so what you can do is lay something across there so that you don't get your arm in there really however you want to. it's not perfect because it is prim a child wrote it almost now we need to kind of create some snowflakes so we're going to make these kind of uh, curly cues down here we want to make like a ridge almost. Got to get that nose to set in just a little bit more. We'll go back over that where that black is and just paint the whole nose. And the color that I'm using is such a light pigmented orange that the black will bleed through and I'm taking a little bit of water down white there I'm going to use my towel and take off the difference and then I'm going to go through here where we put that blue just kind of do some semi dry brushing okay now we're going to take our silver marker and we're just going to 
go in there and touch all those little curlies we did. Okay, if you're satisfied with your painting, now is the time to put a signature on it. Once this completely dries, you want to put a layer of Mod Podge. If you want it to look glossy and shiny, you can use the Mod Podge Luster. But if you want it to be matte, finished, and smooth, but remain like this, then use the regular Mod Podge Matte. And don't forget to sign and date your work, no matter what. And I'm just using a Sharpie. Voila. So happiness is making friends. I'll finish this with standard Mod Podge after everything has dried really well to seal it and make it washable and cleanable. And I will also put the hanger piece back on here. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the like thumbs up. It helps my video to be served up to more people who might enjoy painting along the Happiness is Making Friends Primitive Snowman. Have a Merry Christmas. Until the next DIY or the next painting, I'll be crafting, y'all. Bye, guys.